Anglers Extra. And we're back on the Anglers Extra pregame show. It's time, as always, for the manager show, sponsored by the Chatham Bakery with John Schiffner. Yesterday, you guys got a, an improvised off day with the range. You enjoy yourself, Schiff? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, just, it was nice to be off, but it really, you know, you don't want to take them when you, you know, you have to. You just, let's take the days off when they're there and, because we're going to be backed up for a pretty good amount of time right now, which I'm not concerned about. I think we, fortunately, we have the pitch, pitching depth and depth all over the place, but you just, you know, I, I just don't want days off, you know. Speaking of not taking days off that you don't want to have to take off, the field crew today did a really good job with this uh, uh, field. What do you have to say? I mean, this place looks so much better than it did this morning. We were here this morning, and it was basically a, the entire infield was a puddle, and Alex and the guys have done just a fantastic job, and everybody has done a great job. The guys, the kids who work on the field, Alex and the, the coaches, just amazing job. It's, uh, from, from what we came here to, there was you know, quite a bit of things that needed to be taken care of, and they've done that above and beyond, and then just taking care of the regular field just on, on you know, regular weather, in, weather problems. They've done a great job. Uh, lost in uh, you know what coaches do on the Cape League. Obviously, everyone knows that you guys got to recruit good baseball players, but you also got to recruit coaches who know a little something about the fields uh, with all the field work you have to do. So what goes into, uh, obviously, you want coaches who are good coaches, but what goes into uh, picking guys who know what they're doing and making sure baseball field's all right? Well, first of all, it's, you know you get a recommendation from someone, hey, so-and-so, I really think so-and-so would be a good, great addition to your staff. Okay, first question, is he a good guy? You know, is he, is he going to work, work hard? Can he throw BP and can he work on the field? And that's that's important. It's extremely important because, you know, we need to get, keep these fields in you know tip top shape. And you know, you want to get them as you know safe as possible because you have millions of dollars potentially sitting in your dugout. So you want to make sure they're taken care of. And that is the, some of the first questions: is you know, can you work in the field? That even before because I've got Jay Grenier, the world's greatest bullpen or uh, batting practice pitcher, according to him. Uh, but Jay does such a great job. You don't need to have everybody throw BP, but you do guy, have guys who really, really need to know their way around. A field you know can they cut the grass can they edge can they do you know get the you know get the stuff off the field without uh, too much damage you know it's uh, it's really really important and uh, these guys are phenomenal now playing Harwich for the second time in three days Steve Angler the guy who likes to talk I see you two uh, talking for maybe a little bit longer than you do with the other Cape League managers what is it that you guys are talking about all the time well a lot of it we see things the same way you know Steve's old school I'm a little older than he is but you know he's old school like I am and uh, you know, we, we just have a lot in common, and it's great. Just he's a funny man. It's just some of the comments he says. Uh, you know, he makes me look you know, like I'm stoic. Uh, he's he's quite a comedian, and uh, you know, he, he just it's it's refreshing to talk to him because it's you know I, I think the game of baseball has changed a lot, and I think the game needs more guys like him in it that you know tell the kids like it is, you know, instead of you know pat him on the head and you know give everybody a trophy for making three outs. So. Uh, you know, it's good to talk to Steve. We just, we've been in this league a long time. We've seen a lot of things, so we, we have a real common friendship. Talking about old school baseball, the last game you played against these guys two days ago was 2-1 in 10 innings, and I caught the tail end of what you told the team. You basically said, that's a Cape League baseball game. What do you mean when you say that? Well, it just, it was good defense, great pitching, just a, just a really, really good baseball game. If you're, you know, into that kind of game where you had, you know, pitchers throwing strikes, Really nice defensive plays. I mean, their outfield ran down a few. We, we hit the ball in the screws about five times, and, and depending on uh, wind conditions and different fields, you know, we probably, probably could have scored five or six runs in that game. Uh, but they ran down some balls. The, the you know, weather didn't help us out that much. But, uh, you know, and we did the same thing. We had, you know, really, really good pitching. The defense was the same, and, you know, they took good swings. It was just a good baseball game, and uh, it was played crisply. Uh, no, you know, no real bad plays. Just It was just a good baseball game, and that's what we've been preaching to these guys every day. That's what it's going to be like every – that's what it should be like every night. If you see a 10-8 to 8 game in the Cape League, something went wrong. You know, it's just that's that's not that, – something's wrong, uh, whether, whether it's weather, whether it was uh, – injuries or whatever something was wrong so two to one ten innings cape cod league game well the weather's cold might get some fog so it looks like we'll have another cape cod baseball league game yeah, tonight i'm not liking the looks of things right now but at least it's not raining uh doesn't the last radar i looked at the rain's way off in the distance so i don't think unless some storm pops up i don't think rain's going to be a problem unless the game goes really late into the night but uh fog's always an issue with this kind of weather high humidity and the wind's blowing out of southwest so you know it's a possibility wind's blowing pretty crisply so it might keep it down but, uh, you know, who knows? Well, I know that you're a pretty good meteorologist. That's probably what you would have been if you weren't a teacher. Well, thanks again for the time. Right, thank you, Brandon. Uh, that was the manager's show presented by the Chatham Bakery. The Angler's Extra pregame show continues. We send it up to Keith Zubro.